Cool. So hey, I'm Matt. Uh, I work at Tetrate. If you like Istio, we're hiring. Um, and I'm here today to talk to you about Bash, because everybody says they're writing their code in Rust, but really, this is DevOps, right? You need This is infrastructure. You need to hack things together in Bash. Uh, and I made a mistake one day. It cost me a lot of time. So um, every Unix command has a standard out and a standard error stream, but it also has a return value, a little numerical side channel that you can punt an integer down. Uh, if anybody's old enough to remember C, this is a really simple example, right? of something that both prints uh, a string and returns a value. So all commands do this, you run ls, it prints the files it can see. Um, but also, and again, if you're in bash, you can inspect this little variable called question mark, you can see the, uh, the return value uh, that the command gave, and every command has one of these. Um, so normally a command succeeds, that's kind of the point, right? That's what you hope, but even when it doesn't, you don't really care. So we've asked to search here for a needle in a haystack. Um, the haystack didn't even exist, right? So grep has gone, ah, two. But as, a, as an interactive user side of the prompt, I just get this helpful error message and I would never normally look at that return value. But if you're in a script, you should. So bash has got an if statement. It's a programming language. Um, so here we can just say with true, obviously we're always going to print yes, but I can take a then path, I can take an else path, and that's looking at that return value, it doesn't scrape the output. Um, so if is a piece of the bash syntax, right, uh, and if you read the documentation it says it takes precisely one argument, a command that returns zero or non-zero, but wait, a command that returns zero or non-zero. So that true that we saw before is a command, it lives in bin, it's dynamically linked, it's about 50k, um, and it's got a man page, and it's been doing nothing successfully since 1991. <laughs> right, that's literally, this is how the system works. Uh, there's a fork every time, so you get a little bit more complicated. Uh, which flibble? Well, if it's still taking precisely one command, um, that command is which, 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 there it is. Um, but that command's unary, so flibble is an argument to which. Uh, and they're, they're one block, and they're, they're given to bash and executed. Uh, so there's some nice, there's some nice syntax. There's some billion, op billion operators to help you out. Um, not and and or. So you can start doing things like this. It maybe gets a bit hard to read. There's no sort of brackets for disambiguation. Um, you know, Bash is basically the Haskell of you know shell scripts, right? Uh, so you may have seen syntax like this. Look, it's got better somehow. Sometime eventually, maybe the late 90s, they added syntax, right, for for, for proper testing. So it looks like a normal programming language. I've got brackets. It's more readable. Great. No. No, that left bracket is, uh, is a command. It lives in user bin. It's about 50K. Uh, it's dynamically linked. There's a, there's a fork and a, and a load every time you run that thing. I'm just going to give the 15 seconds for this to sink in. Um, so you see something like this. Well, what's this doing? Well, left bracket is your command, right? And its arguments are dash x and foo and the right bracket, which left bracket expects and swallows just to make things look neat. Isn't it great? Single, single tools that do one job well. So what's the practical upshot? What does this print? Well, the double ampersand is bash syntax. It's not left bracket syntax. The left bracket command returns two to say, uh, parse error, mate. Um, but bash just says, oh, well, you did a test and the test failed. So this is always going to print false. There's no error message. Um, this one, converse, um, dash a is left bracket command syntax. It's not bash syntax. Uh, bash doesn't do anything with it, it just passes dash a and ls to true. Uh, true throws us all, all its arguments away because it has to do nothing successfully. So this is always going to print yes, no matter whether like any of those commands are false. Uh, this one is what I lost a day to, um, because false, false is not understood by left bracket. Uh, left bracket says, well you didn't give me an operator, so I'll do my best, which is to see whether the string is like zero length or not. So false is um, always true. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe Bash is more like the JavaScript of, uh, of shells. <laughs> Practical advice, I told you. So yeah, don't do that. Um, I think I made this slide double length, just so you, we can really say, great, thanks. Whoever wrote a command and called it left bracket. Um, but so maybe some more helpful advice. Uh, this is actually valid, so you can combine these syntaxes, right? The left bracket's got all these like dash n, dash x. You can look at sort of file attributes and, and stuff that are maybe like a naked command like which won't give you. Um, primary purpose of code is to be read, it's maybe not too readable. So there's a bunch of other stuff you can do. Um, spot the deliberate bug in my slides, uh, and an or a short circuit, this top command will wipe your hard disk. Uh, if it was an or like it was meant to be, then it, it wouldn't have done. Um, don't try to be cleverer than you are, I guess. You don't need the if statement, it's basically Haskell. You can write a raw expression, it'll just evaluate it, so this echo will only be run if grep succeeds. 
you can then start using the left bracket and get these nice little terse sort of uh, arm assembly style like conditional execution things. Um, there's less type binding, so I can do something or have a, yeah. The point is, testing in Bash is really testing. Um, realize that there's more than one thing going on there. There's about three, none of them make sense. I guess maybe me read the man page first before you try to write code in this uh, advanced and awesome language. Uh, and don't lose a day of your life like I did. Thanks. Thank you.